Eric back of the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Let's just give you a typical one of many different types of protocols that I worked around the Cancida products. This is a good protocol and this protocol can uh, account for any kind of supplement that you're taking, particularly in a gut kind of a supplement, but it works especially well for Cancida Remove. Okay. Cancida Restore, similar, but I'll talk about that on the tail end. So I'm going to read out parts of this because this was an email I sent to a patient a while ago now. So um, tolerance develops with any product or supplement and the longer a product is taken, the, um, you know, of course, the more tolerance you're going to build for that thing. But the intelligent approach for supplementation is a 242 method, which I'll explain in a minute. This method is smart and it makes it much harder for candida or parasites to become resistant because the dosage goes from low to high and low to high, uh, from high to low. <clears throat> so you can manipulate the dosage over a period of time. Many people will take a dietary supplement, they'll look at a packet of, of supplements, whatever, and it'll say, take one or two a day, and that's what they'll do. Most naturopaths I know of, probably all of them, and medical doctors are quite similar. They'll just put person on a suggested dosage range and keep them on that until they come back for a follow-up visit. But this 242 method is quite smart, and you'll see why in a minute. If you're sensitive, start taking a mild dosage of Cancida to remove, like one tablet a day for two or three days, you know, so you can really feel what the supplement's going to be like inside your digestive system. Don't jump into taking three a day right off the bat. You wouldn't do that. <clears throat> And then try to build up over a two week period until you can take up to three tablets per day with foods. So you've got a 14 day period basically, which is the two. And then you've got a four week period, which is the four. And then you've got the, the two on the, on the tail end. So you're going like this, you know, you've got the induction phase, you've got the treatment phase, and then you've got the coming out phase. All right. So now that four can be six or eight. It doesn't have to be four. How long is a piece of string? Is it always four inches? It could be eight inches, could be 50 inches, who knows? So the treatment depends on you. And even more intelligent, I'll show you how you can break the treatment cycle down also into, into many kind of treatment phases. This is a smart approach because it's going to make it much harder for bacteria, parasites, and yeast in your gut to become resistant. They won't like this at all. They won't tolerate it. And you'll also notice that as dosages step up during the treatment phases that you could, you know, aggravate a bit more if you push yourself too hard. Look, this is no different from going to the gym, folks. When you start off with the first six, eight weeks or whatever it is, depending on how old you are, you're breaking in. Then you've actually got the warming up phase where you go to the gym, you're warming up. And then you've got the training phase. And then you've got the cooling down phase. What's the difference? All right. So remember, there are sensitive people. There are ultra sensitive people. There are normal people like me. And then there are, well, the subnormals or the, some people call me subnormal or the people that can take ridiculously high dosages. We'll talk about later. So let's just say that you're in the normal phase, all right? So if you're average, not too sensitive, start with two or three tablets of Cancida removed daily, all right? with meals, in separate meals. This is the average person. But remember the first three days, take it easy. Take one tablet a day for, you know, day one, day two, day three, just take one tablet on each day to see how the tummy is. If you think, nah, it's not for me, cut them in half, then start with half a tablet. Always take with food, all right? <clears throat> so we're gonna take two or three tablets a day. Once we get up to that two to three tablets a day of Kenzina Remove, you know, in that two week period somewhere, we're just gonna keep that going probably for about a week or so until we about, about hit about a two week phase, all right? Then after that, we're gonna step it up. Take this dosage for two weeks. This represents the first two in the 242 method. This is the induction phase. After this two weeks, take up to four or six tablets a day for the duration of three to four weeks. But it could be six weeks, it could be eight weeks. It depends on what you wanna treat. Right. So the treatment phase <clears throat> represents the higher stepped up dosage over the induction. So now you're actually actively treating the gut. The first few weeks, you're not actively treating, you're getting used to the product and you're breaking in. See, I told you it was a smart approach. So 
The induction phase is always two weeks, but the treatment phase can range four to six weeks or longer in some cases. It all depends on your, on your tolerance and on the severity of your condition. But it also depends on your diet, your sensitivity, and a whole bunch of stuff. So I never recommend any longer than six to eight, eight weeks for a stronger patient for the treatment phase. After the treatment phase, we begin with the last two in the 242 method. We begin the final phase. We now drop the dosage of remove from the higher dosage to the lower dosage we used to on the induction phase. So now you're coming down, right? So a sensible approach is to slowly reduce. If you're on a high tablet count is when you're in the final phase, you slowly reduce that tablet count over that two week period, all right? Now here is a kicker, all right? The finale, the grand finale. I work with many patients and one guy in Israel is a standout. And I hope one day to get him on YouTube to show you guys what Kanzita is capable of. Um, this guy was seriously sick for a long, long time. He couldn't use a cell phone. Um, he had some weird issues with his brain. His cognition wasn't working. He was in a complete fog the whole time. Now we got this guy up to a crazy, I think it was 12 or 16 tablets a day at one stage. But we worked with various um, protocols, including the 242, to push him through barriers. He had serious aggravations with some of the deeper treatment cycles. But this was a man who for 10 years went to hundreds of doctors and never got anywhere. Hundreds of doctors. And now he's finally good. So let's look at what you can do. You got the two the four and the two. Now in that four, remember it could be six or eight, try not to go over eight. Again, you can break that down into a couple of cycles. So let's just say you're on three tablets per day and you're doing that for two weeks in that four section. You may want to then for the following week slowly amp it up to six or eight tablets a day. So now you've got induction, you've got treatment, but the treatment's got a little bell curve in the middle. And then you've got the finale phase coming out. That's another way you can do it too. It's particularly good if you've got resistant types of um, candida, like candida aureus. Uh, there are many types of candida that are resistant. So this is a good way to break through. For blastocystis cases, I also recommend that you do 242, but you do the bell curve in the middle of the four, meaning you do a higher dosage. You just push yourself harder and harder and harder. All right? That's a breakthrough from many people that will be a breakthrough. But you need to work in your own threshold of comfort. So I hope that gives you a bit of an insight. <clears throat> now, if we look at Kanzita Restore, I'm going to recommend mainly in the induction phase that you start on two capsules a day. Just straight off the bat, you can usually start straight away with one to two capsules. And when you get to the treatment phase, you take three per day. You don't need much more than three. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you wanted to, you could pop another one in your mouth before you go to sleep at night. So it gives you a total of four per day in the treatment phase. And when you're coming out of the finale, again, you're dropping down to two per day. So I hope you got something out of that. Now the Kanzita Rebuild, just maintain one or two through the whole protocol. So the Kanzita Remove is the one you need to manipulate the dosage to give you the push that you're looking for. All right. I hope you got something out of this. Thanks for tuning in.